So talking about um, committing to an action, does that bring up a need for some tapping? <laughs> Yuck! It's kind of like, it's a, it's, we all, a lot of us have that, if you have any charismatic leader in you, you'll have a, you can't make me do it, rebellion. <laughs> Shocked that you guys are giggling at that one. Okay, and so one of the ways we sabotage ourselves when we're charismatic leaders, this is a really fun way for us, um, and, and you have to have come through this weekend to get it, right, is we will, in, we will inflict a strong directive on ourselves and say, I have to get this done, which within a couple of days gives us permission to rebel against our own directive. Okay, so all of a sudden inside of us, another person rises up and goes, you can't tell me what to do. I don't want to do that. You can't make me do it. And so we'll be extra hard. And then we, get, have the, then we feel totally justified in rebelling. This is ridiculous. It's too strict. I don't have the time. We will come up with all the justification to rebel. And so now we're locked in a battle of like one side of us is the strict teacher and one side of us is like a rebellious teenager. How many of have done that? <laughs> well, and you're like, you're like, I'm rebelling against myself. It's crazy. So the best thing to do is to voice that crazy. Don't keep using the, your teacher or your rule keeper side to say that is wrong. I am lazy. I am lazy. Voice the rebellion and it will clear the fastest. Okay, so let's tap on that. I guess we'll start here. And you guys can tap wherever you want. You don't have to follow me because sometimes I go crazy. <sighs> I really don't want to take action. I really don't want to take action. Can I just keep tapping? Can I just keep tapping? And self-discovering. Self -discovering. And, and visualizing. I don't really want a goal. I, really want a goal. I do not want to be held accountable. I'll say, it here. I'll say it here. They can't see me when I get home. They can't make me do it. I'm not going to do it. Gonna do it. Yuck. Yuck. Boring. Boring. Restrictive. Restrictive. You can't make me do it. I'll take a little action on my own time. But I'm not going to commit. I'm not going to commit. That feels too restrictive. That feels, too restrictive. That feels like it might get hard. That feels like, it might get hard. That feels like a trauma that I had once. That, like that, that makes me rebellious. That makes me rebellious. Screw, you, Screw you, Margaret. Not gonna do it. I don't need to be told what to do. I don't want to take commitment into my actions. Into my, days. into my days. It doesn't feel light and airy. It feel light and airy. That's, not That's not creative. It's not the spiritual way. It's not the spiritual way. I am an unbounded spirit. I, am an unbounded spirit. I, will, not to I will not commit to things. Yuck. Yuck. I, refuse. I, refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Okay, and take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Did you hear any reframing in there? No. No reframing. Okay? We voice it like it's true. Okay? And it is kind of funny. You do have a rebellious teenager locked in a bedroom inside of you. It's the part of you that often makes you overeat when you don't want to, go for the sweets when you don't want to, buy things that you've decided you really don't want to, and procrastinate. Procrastination is about rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. Okay, so that's why I have said a couple times, it takes willpower. It takes a new whole definition and energy of what I call conscious willpower to actually take action on your mission. Sometimes it takes gripping the table, willpower. 
And that's why I said you have to be so clear. But I choose this. I do choose this. So that you can sit in the consciousness of that battle. I feel this whole rebellion thing going on. I feel like, you know, F you and F them and don't tell me what to do and stupid Jack Canfield, right? I yell at these people. <laughs> Can't tell me what to do. I'm not going to write that and put it on my ceiling. And then you sit in that moment and you feel all that happening. And that's where you ask yourself the question, how bad do I want it? Is this my mission? Is this the moment right now for me to grab some of my willpower that I have used against myself a lot and against my life purpose and use it to create this step? Okay, there's been times when I've literally gripped onto my desk because whatever it is I need to get done maybe isn't my favorite thing. Like writing stuff on my sales page about my classes. I like to teach my class. I don't. The, to figure out all the words of what's going to be there, like douse me, poof, and light me on fire, I'd be happier. <laughs> right? I was like, well, give me the match. I always, I, I call my sister and I, and I go, the poom, 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 like I've got the lighter fluid tin. And I'm like, poom, 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 give me the match. That's me trying to write marketing for my website. And so I will hold on to my desk with my hand because I'll go, cup of tea, ugh. I think I need a cup of tea. Oh, it's probably time for a snack. I literally have felt this moment that I'm talking about is just do it. Okay, I'll do 10 minutes. I'll do 10 minutes and then I'll take a break. And again, you would think that it was like manual labor or something. It takes my willpower sometimes because it's not the funnest thing for me to do. And so someday, you know, it's like, okay, someday I will hire a copywriter. But right now, there's things you got to do. So I want, on this next slide, I've put some, some lines here. <sighs> now that we've voiced all the rebellion, one positive action that you can take. And, and this first one was really about um, 